Insects are the most diverse group on the planet. There are over a million species of insects representing more than half of all of the species on the planet. Insects have a chitinous exoskeleton that is divided into three sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They also have a pair of antennae and are recognized for their six legs. All insects go through various stages until they reach adulthood. The transformation through these stages is called metamorphosis. There are two types of metamorphosis, complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. During incomplete metamorphosis, insects go through three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. When a nymph hatches from an egg, it almost looks like an adult except it does not have wings and it cannot reproduce. As a nymph outgrows its outside skeleton, it is shed. It then regrows a new one. This process repeats until an insect fully becomes an adult. During complete metamorphosis, insects go through four stages. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The larva looks like a worm when it hatches from an egg. As it grows, it sheds its skin and turns into a pupa. The pupa then grows into its adult form over time. Myriapods are the subphylum of arthropods. They have two main body regions, the head and the trunk. Depending on the organism, myriapods can have anywhere from 10 to 750 legs. They have one pair of antennae. Tognatha are the closest relatives to insects. However, unlike insects, Tognatha do not have wings. Exapods are the closest relatives to myriapods. They are the same group that contain insects. Hexapods and myriapods have bodies that are divided into segments. They both have legs and one pair of antennae. Insects and myriapods are part of the bigger group arthropods. Arthropods are characterized by their segmented bodies and their paired and jointed appendages. They also have a rigid exoskeleton made out of chitin.
Insects have six different feeding strategies. Chewing, sucking, burrowing, praying, pollinating, and parasites. Myriapods have two different feeding strategies, feeding off of organic material and eating other arthropods. Both insects and myriapods lack lungs, so they use a system of internal tubes and sacs in order to respirate. Gases are diffused or pumped across these sacs. Oxygen is then delivered to the respective tissue. Insects and myriapods also have similar circulatory systems. They both do not have any veins or arteries. Instead, they possess a perforated dorsal tube which pulses peristaltically. Towards the thorax, the dorsal tube divides into chambers and acts like the insect's heart. The opposite end of the tube is like the aorta of the insect circulating hemolymph. The main purpose of excretion in insects is regulating water and ionic balance. Excretion eliminates nitrogenous wastes. It can be eliminated as ammonia, urea, or uric acid. The main excretory organs are the Malpighian tubules. These are fine structures that lie throughout the abdominal cavity. They absorb the waste through diffusion across a concentration gradient or active transport. More than 90% of water is recovered before excretion. The main reproductive organs in insects are located in the abdomen. After a sperm is deposited, it is forced into a chamber where it may wait for anywhere from a few weeks to a few years. Eggs pass across the opening to this chamber and fertilization occurs. The eggs are then laid and they're ready to begin further development. Pollination is one of the most important interactions between insects and other organisms. Pollination aids in flower reproduction and also gives insects a food source and nectar. Insects are also used as a food source for other organisms.
butterflies are characterized by their colorful wings and their fluttering flight. Their wings are made up of tiny scales, which also affects the color. Butterflies consume nectar from flowers. Millipedes are characterized by their long, round, segmented bodies. They have two pairs of legs per each segment. Millipedes live in moist places and feed on organic matter. Ants live in colonies and are close relatives to bees and wasps. Ants lose their wings after mating. As a larva, ants eat solids, while adults eat mostly liquids. Mosquitoes are a type of fly that feed on nectars. They breed in stagnant water. Female mosquitoes suck on human blood, and because of this, they are known for spreading diseases. Honeybees are known for pollinating flowers and producing honey. Honeybees live in hives and are known for stinging potential threats. Although insects are seen as pests, humans have found many different uses for them. Humans harvest silk from silkworms and also harvest honey and beeswax from bees. Some insects are used for medicine and others are used for food. <laughs>